In this episode we are going to try to register a user to our site. But before we begin a little disclaimer. So I'm not exactly sure that the way I'm going to show you is the right way to do it. I couldn't find any documentation either on Drupal side or on Vue.js side on how you would actually register someone to your site. So, to, uh, so what we are going to be doing is we are going to be creating our user uh, by using our administration details when posting something to our Drupal installation. Now I'm not a security guy but I would bet that this isn't the most secure way to do this because someone could probably uh, take your authentication details uh, some way on your site. I'm not exactly sure but it doesn't smell right to me. So without warning we can get uh, into this episode and actually not registering users but actually creating new users uh, via uh, Vue.js. Also I'm going to go pretty fast in this episode because most of the things we already did in the previous episodes so I'm not going to explain um, much of it, just the new stuff. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all you would go to this uh, URL right here, I will leave it in the description below. Uh, you can download this and then just put it in your modules folder or you can use uh, Drupal to uh, install it from the administration, whatever you want. When you do that you will get this REST UI right here and if you go to configuration you would have it right here. So if you click here, uh, this is what you will be getting. So this content right here and I already enabled the users module. So you have these modules right here that allow access to certain entities on your site via APIs. Uh, so the user will be somewhere down here. You would just click enable and then uh, you would go to the page that looks something like this and then you would have to uh, just enable get requests and put HAL JSON in it and basic authentication and then you would do post method and also HAL JSON and basic authentication and save it and that's it. Now you have access uh, to your user entity uh, because if you don't do this, uh, you won't be able to make post requests uh, to your users entity and you won't be able to create any new users. Okay, so that's it for the Drupal part. Let's now get into uh, Vue.js part. As you will see, creating new users is very much uh, the same thing you would do when creating new posts. So let's just go to our app.js and let's just find create the movie method and this is it. So I'm just going to take all of that so I don't have to write it, put it at the top of my file, paste it in and I'm going to rename this to register. register uh, template will be register not create movie and let's think about uh, about the data that we are going to be uh, needing for this Vue.js component so first of all we are going to be needing username so we're going to call it name uh, second we are going to be needing email from our user uh, then we are going to be needing password. Password and we are going to be needing some other stuff but I'm not going to uh, add them right now. Uh, the second thing uh, we are have to define our headers. They are here so we don't need to bother with that. We can delete this ready function because we don't need it and then we are going to create a new method and that method is going to be similar to create movie method except it's going to be called register user ok 
Okay, so we have a method of register user. We are preventing defaults right here. And now we have to set up this data right here. So first of all, we are not accessing this link movies API dev rest type node movies, but we are uh, accessing rest type user 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 user. Okay, and then we have to pass it some data. So when we are creating a user, we need a username, email, password and some other stuff uh, that I will explain in a bit. So we have to have a name that we defined up there. So and the value for that name is going to be value name. And then we have to have an email. So in Drupal it's called mail. So these are the endpoints or actually variables that are called in Drupal. So name and mail not email so but our uh, input field is going to be called email so I'm just going to write email right here and then we can copy this because we will need a password for our user so I'm just going to do password in Drupal it's called pass but we are going to call a field called password Okay, next thing we need to do is define a status of our user. So when you register on Drupal, your account is like automatically going to be blocked until you activate it. But we don't want to do that. Uh, we want our accounts to be activated immediately. So I'm going to set a status right here. And... Uh, just put it to be one. So one means it's activated. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, in the end, I will show you how you can even uh, set a role for the user. So right now, every user that registers from Vue.js is automatically going to be authenticated user, but you can change its role to be administrator if you want. But I'm uh, just going to show you that at the end of the video. Right now we are going to set up uh, our requests. So this HTTP post, that's okay. Movies API dev entity and our entity isn't going to be a node. Our entity is actually going to be a user. So user and I'm going to delete all of this because we don't need it right now. And I think that's about it just save this. Of course we have to define uh, a route to our register component so I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to copy this route right here so I don't have to write it because I write really slow when I'm recording these videos so it's going to be register register and the component we are calling is of course the register okay so that's it for app.js I think at least for now now we are going to go to our index.html file create our template and set up our form for users to be able to register okay so in our index.html file in template movie list template so this is our component actually we're just going to copy this out uh, and the do path is not going to be create but register so that we have a link to our register component button is going not going to be success so we will have a blue button for this so that's primary primary and we're going to write register right here register and that should be it okay save this if we check out our site right now we get this if we go to register nothing happens because we still didn't define our template 
so I'm just going to go down here and let me just see what I can copy out so this one is for creating a movie so I think it should do fine and I'm just going to go down here and define the new template we said our template is going to be called register so register uh, we'll say the title of the template is going to be register uh, we don't need this for now but we are going to have some uh, alert messages then V on submit we are not creating a movie but we are registering a user so register user so uh, this method right here register user and then we won't have a movie title instead we are going to have username and the V model for that is going to be name and the name is going to be name and then we have a new form group and this one is going to be email and I'm just going to set the type of it to be email so that in newer browsers we will automatically get uh, validation for that field uh, vmodel is going to be email like we defined right here so email email okay let's copy this out uh, the next field we need is of course password so the type of the field is going to be password and the v model and the name is also going to be password okay and uh, we are not going to have add movie here but register register okay save this if we g refresh the page right now since we are already on this URL we get this okay so this is great uh, let's let's actually test this out I think this should uh, work right now it's not going to be pretty but it should work so let's try to register a user by the name of John and the name of uh, the email is going to be john at test.com and password is going to be anything so just register it okay uh, let me see if we got some errors we didn't get any errors now if we go to our Drupal installation and go to people we should, we should see John right here so this is great okay so let's try to do this actually let's register mark and mark is going to have the same email address as John so we do a password let's register him now and as you can see we get some errors right here because the user with this address already exists so we need to make some kind of notifications for the user uh, to if he doesn't write something correctly uh, we can give him a message and say something went wrong you didn't write something uh, correctly and you can't register to the site try to change your data and so on so we can't register a user with the same uh, email address that already exists so as you can see we get this unprocessable entity so we are going to do right uh, do that kind of notifications right now let's first make uh, a success message for our user so I'm just going to go here to our request and do something like this set set message and as soon as we have this message right here we should define it in our data so message okay and then we're going to set that message to be you have registered
registered yay okay so we should get that message when we successfully register on the site so I'm just going to save this go to our, our index.html file and I'm going to create a div right here with a class of alert and alert success okay and then we can have our message displayed right in it okay so that should be it if we save this right now <coughs> go to our application refresh it uh, okay we actually forgot something we're going to add V show right here as you can see we are getting this alert uh, right here so we don't want it to show up until we actually register so I'm just going to do V show and message so show only when the message is present okay if we refresh it right now this should be gone okay so let's define another user so for now we have me and John okay so let's define mark mark and the address uh, email is going to be mark at test.com we can define any kind of uh, password register him and you have registered yay okay if we refresh people in our Drupal installation we get that the mark is active and he's here okay so what about if we don't write this correctly then we are going to go to our app.js file and right here we are going to set up our error function error actually it's dot error <coughs> and then you would do something like function with a response response and then open up curly braces and then we would set this message to be not you have what have I written here registroid registered okay so the message would be something like something went wrong please check your information and try again okay uh, now whenever this happens our message should be different so let's refresh this add another user by the name of Peter and we will set John at test.com for email address register this and click register and now you get this message something went wrong please check your info and try again okay so this is great this works but uh, one other thing I don't like about this I would like this when an error is presented to be red not green so this looks like we did something right and actually we did something wrong so we are going to do this in just a bit so to do that I'm just going to go right here and define two new types of data uh, so the first one is going to be this dot set so we are getting a success right here so I'm going to call it success success and it's going to be true okay and then for the second one we are going to go this set and this one is going to be an error and I'm going to also set it to true so the error is true and of course since we are defining new data right here we have to define it right here also so 
success is nothing and error is nothing okay so we got that set up next thing we are going to do is we are going to go to this div class alert and I'm going to remove this alert success and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you a new uh, type of uh, Vue.js command it's called vbind class class equals to and it's going to equal to these curly braces and then we are going to set our class so if we are successful we are going to do alert alert success and it's going to depend on our data uh, for success so if success is present if it success isn't empty then our class that we are adding is going to be alert success otherwise we are going to have alert warning so these are just bootstrap classes and uh, this one is going to show up if the error is present so we just do error and that should be it so let's just test it out let's create Peter again with the same name as John and register our user as you can see something went wrong please check your info and try again uh, let me just see for this blue so this actually should have been danger not warning we are actually getting this yellow uh, color right here so I'm just going to change this to danger okay let's try it again so Peter John's address some password register and we get this red error right here something went wrong please check your info and try again okay uh, let's try to do Peter again but this time with Peter at test.com add some password register him and now we have this green box right here and you have registered the A okay so that's it for registering your users as I said before we are net not actually registering anyone so uh, anonymous users can't register to your Drupal installation but we are actually creating our user via admin so uh, just one more thing to show you as I said at the beginning of this video if you wanted to add a role to your user so right here you would do roles open up an array open up an object and then you wouldn't do value but you would actually do target ID for some reason I don't know why and then you would do let's say administrator okay save this and now if we register our new user so let's call this one n and at test.com add a password register you have registered ok if we check out people you will see that n has a role of administrator so this is the way that you can add roles to your users okay guys thank you for watching this video uh, links that we used right here will be in the description below I hope you liked the video if you did please uh, click like button if you like the content I put out please click subscribe uh, you can follow me on Facebook or on Twitter uh, 
Uh, also, the code used in this video will be available for you on GitHub, so please check that out if you don't want to write it with me. And I think that's about it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to be doing loggings for our users. So, I'll see you in the next episode.